Ernest Borgnine, a stalwart figure in the annals of Hollywood, carved a lasting legacy through his compelling performances and undeniable screen presence. What makes Borgnine an enduring symbol in the industry is the authenticity he brought to his roles, transcending the transient trends of the silver screen. His ability to portray characters with depth and relatability resonates across generations, cementing his status as a timeless icon. Reflecting on Borgnine's body of work inevitably prompts consideration of standout moments that have left an indelible mark. Whether it's his poignant portrayal of Marty Pilty and Marty or his commanding presence in The Wild Bunch, Borgnine's performances linger in the collective consciousness, prompting admiration for their emotional resonance and narrative impact. As we delve into the cinematic tapestry woven by this classic actor, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Borgnine in the comments below. Your stories contribute to the rich tapestry of appreciation for a Hollywood legend. What enduring qualities or impactful moments do you associate with this iconic figure? We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories. Share your stories and join the conversation below. What enduring qualities or impactful moments do you associate with this iconic figure? We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories. Ernest Borgnine, a seasoned actor, left an indelible mark on both television and the military. Serving as a Navy NCO on the US Life during World War I and II, his real-life experiences added authenticity to his portrayal of a S Navy officer on the popular show McHale's Navy in 1962. Beyond the screen, Borgnine made history by being the inaugural center square on the premiere week of the Hollywood Squares in October 1966, showcasing his versatility in the entertainment industry. In his passing on July 8, 2012, at the age of 95, Borgnine joined the ranks of other television legends born in 1917, including Anne Rutherford, Celeste Holm, Phillies Diller, and Herbert Lom, all passing within three months of each other. His contribution to the Navy, his diverse television roles, and his groundbreaking stint on the Hollywood Squares solidify Ernest Borgnine's enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. A man of diverse experiences, Ernest Borgnine's journey into acting was preceded by a decade of service in the United States Navy. Enlisting in 1935, he dedicated 10 years to the Navy, rising to the rank of gunner's mate first class before his honorable discharge in 1945. Borgnine's commitment to the military extended beyond his on-screen roles, earning him the title of Honorary S. Navy Chief Petty Officer in 2004. Before the glitz of Hollywood, Borgnine's hands were accustomed to the soil. Fond memories lingered from his family's backyard garden, cultivated by his mother during the challenging times of the 1929 stock market crash. The garden, a testament to resilience, not only bore vegetables for sustenance, but also brought a sense of connection to the land. Inspired, Borgnine extended his agricultural pursuits by working on a nearby farm, harvesting peaches and apples. Transitioning from a different kind of cultivation, Borgnine was once a heavy smoker until 1962. That year marked a turning point when he abandoned the habit, transforming into a staunch advocate against smoking. His commitment to a healthier lifestyle reflected his disciplined approach to both personal choices and professional endeavors. Ernest Borgnine's multifaceted life, from naval service to gardening, and his stand against smoking, paints a portrait of a man who embraced diverse experiences. His legacy endures not only through his military contributions, but also in the varied chapters of his life, each leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of his remarkable journey. While filming Three Brave Men in 1956, Ernest Borgnine had an unexpected visitor in his dressing room, none other than Tom Parker, Elvis Presley's manager. Elvis, impressed by Borgnine's singing and Love Me Tender, sent over a pile of his records as a token of appreciation. Shy and unable to deliver them in person, Elvis enlisted Parker's help. Borgnine, always one to act, decided to ensure Elvis made a personal appearance the next day. When the young rock and roll sensation finally arrived, the sound of hound dog filled the air, and the dressing room door proudly displayed the words Elvis Borgnine. This encounter marked a unique intersection between Hollywood legends, showcasing Borgnine's influence beyond the silver screen. Starring in all four Dirty Dozen films, Ernest Borgnine showcased his versatility as an actor bringing depth to a series known for its gritty portrayal of military life. From his early days as a Navy NCO on the U.S. Life, during World War Roman II to his iconic roles on television, and in Hollywood, Borgnine's career spanned decades and genres. 
His commitment to authenticity, rooted in real-life military experiences, resonated not only on screen, but also in his dedication to the armed forces. Beyond the battlefield and sound stages, Borgnine's influence extended to unexpected places. Tortilla Flats, a Tex-Mex restaurant in New York City, became an unlikely hub for Borgnine enthusiasts, featuring a dedicated booth, annual celebrations, and rigorous Borgnine trivia for its staff. Despite having no direct involvement, Borgnine's occasional visits and the restaurant's quirky homage added a unique dimension to his cultural impact. In a revealing video interview tied to his 2011 Lifetime Achievement Award, Borgnine disclosed his desire to work with actor Peter Audel, emphasizing their long-standing friendship and Audel's admirable attitude. This candid revelation sheds light on the personal connections that shaped Borgnine's career and the camaraderie within the acting community. From military dramas to Tex-Mex tributes and unfulfilled aspirations, Ernest Borgnine's legacy goes beyond the expected, weaving a narrative of a man whose influence reached far beyond the silver screen. This multifaceted journey, marked by authenticity, unexpected fandom, and unfulfilled dreams, cements Borgnine's enduring impact on the world of entertainment. In 27, Ernest Borgnine achieved a unique milestone as the first living male Oscar winner for Best Actor to celebrate his 90th birthday. Remarkably, in 2012, he continued to defy expectations by becoming the first male Oscar winner for Best Actor to not only reach his 95th birthday, but also remain actively working in the industry. This rare feat placed Borgnine in an exclusive category alongside other long-lasting screen legends like Angela Lansbury, Betty White, and Alan Alda. Borgnine's enduring career and vitality set him apart in an industry where retirement is common. Unlike many of his peers, he never stepped away from acting, consistently securing roles into his 80s and 90s. His resilience and ongoing contributions to the entertainment world make him a standout figure among the few who sustained their careers well into their later years. This longevity wasn't confined to his professional life. Borgnine's personal life also saw its share of interesting twists, notably his brief but headline-grabbing marriage to Broadway diva Ethel Merman in 1964. The union, marked by its short duration and public unraveling, offered a glimpse into the challenges of fame and relationships in the limelight. Despite the tumultuous start, Borgnine went on to marry twice more, with his fifth marriage enduring for over 39 years until his passing. Ernest Borgnine's journey, characterized by his remarkable career longevity and intriguing personal relationships, serves as a testament to his resilience and adaptability in the ever-changing landscape of the entertainment industry. As we delve into the nuances of his life, it becomes evident that Borgnine's impact extends far beyond his on-screen roles, making him a notable figure in the annals of Hollywood history. As our cinematic journey draws to a close, Take a moment to reflect on the indelible mark left by a true luminary of the silver screen. An artist whose performances transcended the boundaries of the screen, resonating deeply with audiences across generations. Your unique connection with this legendary figure is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Perhaps you find solace in the rugged charisma that characterized many of the roles, each one etching its own narrative onto the canvas of your memories. Or maybe it's the uncanny ability to infuse authenticity into every character, turning mere scripts into compelling tales that linger in the recesses of your mind. Now, as the credits roll and the curtain falls, we invite you to share your reflections on the impact this remarkable actor has had on your cinematic journey. What moments stirred your soul? What performances left an indelible imprint on your heart? In this communal space, let your voice join the collective chorus of admirers, each note adding to the symphony of appreciation for a talent that has shaped the very fabric of entertainment. As we celebrate the legacy woven by this extraordinary individual, let your thoughts flow freely, transcending the boundaries of time and space. Your reflections, like a mosaic of shared experiences, contribute to the rich tapestry of appreciation for the artistry and dedication that define this iconic figure. In closing, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and engagement. The cinematic landscape is forever altered by the presence of such a colossal talent, and your participation in this reflective moment adds a personal touch to the collective homage paid to a true legend. Thank you for sharing in the celebration of a career that continues to resonate across the vast expanse of entertainment history.